they can't be trusted to handle anything of greater responsibility, anything of greater importance than daily household chores. Dude, first off, do you not know what a woman has to go through to take care of a freaking baby? Bro, us men, we could not really do that, bro. We couldn't carry a baby for nine months. We can go through the phases of having a period every month. I've mentioned this in a previous video, but it's because women are not able to connect with God in the same way that men are. Hey. are <laughs> I don't know what made you make this video and to talk down on women, bro, but you need help. You need help. If you secretly gay, just say that. Just say that. You ain't got to talk down on women. If you see you like booty holes, just say that. <laughs> women are not real? <laughs> hey, man. Oh, my. Oh, jeez. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. One more thing before we get into this video. I really don't do a lot of self-promo on different channels and stuff, but I got to tell y'all about this one channel, right? Now, go ahead and subscribe to my podcast channel, okay? Like, uh, I'm telling y'all. 90%, maybe even 100% of y'all go really like this podcast channel. Go ahead and subscribe to the link in the description box below. Bro, I talked some, I, bro, I was going crazy, okay? I was going crazy. I was speaking straight facts. So go ahead, subscribe up, man. And also go ahead, blow up my uh, video on it. I think I got a video by the time this video, I think I'll be having a video on that channel. So go ahead, do what y'all do, man. Without further ado, man, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Without further ado, like, let go. I said the same thing about five times. Oh my gosh. Women are the physical manifestation of sensory perception and in the same all right this is what we not finna do you're not finna be using these big words okay that, that's what we not that's what we not finna do y'all know how i feel about vocabulary my vocabulary not up there that's what we not gonna do okay so kind of lower your vocabulary down and don't try to sound smart because i know the video already done physical manifestation of sensory perception and in the same sense that when your senses are overloaded in any particular way whether they're overloaded with pleasure or overloaded with pain if your senses keep receiving that same stimulus over and over you are not going to have as strong of a reaction to that same stimulus bro what the hell i feel like i'm in a math class right now bro i'm so i'm already confused i'm already i feel like bro if, if this was how a person would read the periodic table, I feel like this would be just the right video for it. I am honestly confused right off the rip and we only 26, sec 26 seconds in. You are not going to have as strong of a reaction to that same stimulus. In this same sense, being that women are the physical manifestations of this phenomenon, that is why women's value must be preserved they can't be trusted to handle anything of greater responsibility anything of greater importance than daily household chores and taking care of babies now Nigga, what bro you did not bro you did not just say it out your mouth bro you did not just say it out your mouth oh my gosh dude dude first off do you not know what a woman has to go through to take care of a freaking baby bro us men we could not really do that, bro. We couldn't carry a baby for nine months. We couldn't go through the phases of having a period every month. We could not do that. We we really could not. We really could not do that, bro. Like, that's just honestly, like, what you just said out your mouth, like, your mama should be disgusted that she even has you. I bet she wish she swallowed you, bro. And I'm saying that out of pure disrespect, okay? Because, dude, you're not going to disrespect women when women go through so much. I done seen my mama take care of my baby sister for, what, six years now? I think my sister six year six years old. So, yeah, about six years now, and that's hell. I mean, hearing a baby cry when a baby got a teeth, like, bro, man, we really could not handle all that, bro. You talking about they could handle greater responsibility. What's a greater responsibility, bro? What's, what's a greater responsibility? Because I'm pretty sure half of the women in America, half of the women in this world, period, Okay, I'm pretty sure they go they go to a nine to five job just like a regular man do. Not all men want I mean, not all women want to sit at home and be a housewife. Not all not all women want to do that. Some women actually want to work. And if a woman is a housewife, I guarantee she got like a small business on the side that she just want to do because she want to have her own. Sometimes a lot of women want to have their own, bro. You feel me? They could be a housewife, stay home with the kids, but you know how hard of a job that is, bro. That's probably that's probably more that's probably worse than working a nine to five. You feel me? That's probably worse than working in that fight. Why I say that is because you're hearing a baby cry 24 7, 24 7. Even when a even when a child gets older and starts to grow. Why do you think it's so many um so many uh what's that what's the word they call like when a when a man 
uh, so many mama mama boys or boy mom, whatever it's called. Why do you think it's so many of those? Why do you think it's so many people that love their mother so much? Because their mother do so much for them, even as they growing in high school, even when they go to college. You know, the, the only time a mother really will probably let go is when they realize that their kid is like too old. I mean, like I'm talking about 20s. They're married. You know, you don't want to you don't want a wife or a husband that's so connected to their mama. That's mommy, mommy, this mommy, mommy, that mommy. How you do this? Mommy, how do you at, at one point you need them to grow up? But, bro, a one a woman taking care of baby, bro, that's great. That's great responsibility right now, bro. Your mama took care of yo. Oh, jeez. I, I want to choke you through the screen, bro. What you just said was very idiotic, bro. That was the dumbest thing you have said the whole video. And it's only 47 seconds in. This video can get no worse. It, it can't get no worse after that. After what you said, bro, it can't get no worse, bro. It can't. Not taking care of children, taking care of babies. Because once babies turn into children, that's when the psychological development comes into place, which far exceeds the capabilities that women are able to provide for the child. But going back to the value preservation, women's value has to be preserved while a man's value has to be created. Women are born with inherent value. Men are born with no value or next to no value. They're born with the potential for value. That's why when you see a young woman who hasn't done anything with her life, nobody's going to look down on her if she doesn't want to go to college or if she doesn't want to work. Nobody's going to think less of her for not wanting to do those things. Whereas they definitely will look down on a young man who doesn't want to go to college bro, and doesn't want Bro, bro, bro. People gonna look down on you regardless of what you do in life. People gonna look down on you regardless. Have you not got that through your head? People gonna look down on women if they don't want to work. Because trust me, trust and believe me, a lot of men don't want a woman, don't want a woman that can't do nothing for herself. A lot of men don't want that. If they see a woman, all they do is baby, 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 can I get money? Can I get this again? A lot of men don't want that. And a lot of women don't want a man that can't do nothing for themselves because half of the men in this world is so lazy, they don't know how they don't know what it is to be a husband. They don't want to provide. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to provide. Even if you are in just some relationship. You still gotta show, you still gotta show like I could do it on my own. I can go get out on my I could go do this on my own. I don't need my wife or my girl to do this for me. I got it on my own. I work a nine to five just like you. Boo -boo -boo. You know what I'm saying? Come on now, bro. People gonna look down on you regardless. If a woman ain't doing nothing with her life, people gonna look down on her regardless. Regardless. I mean, regardless of what she do. She could be a housewife. People gonna still look down on Oh, you don't do this, you don't do that. People gonna still look down on you. People gonna look down on man. People gonna look down on whatever, bro. We are in the world filled where people don't, they don't like to see people succeed. They don't like to see people doing the good things. There's a lot of women out here that's top notch, bro. That's top notch. Got their own television shows. A lot of women out here that's uh, managers at companies and stuff like, bro, I'm, I'm at Amazon, right? And it's a woman that's a manager, but she's making well over the amount that you're probably making, bro. When you're a manager at Amazon, bro, an operation manager at that. If you level eight at Amazon, bro, you making bank. People think it's people think it's all this and that working the nine to five, but bro, it's a lot of women at Amazon right now that's managers, operation managers, level fives. They making thousands of thousand dollars a month, and they only get paid once a month. So you know they making bank. They go outside to the parking lot in a freaking Tesla, bro, and Tesla, Maseratis, bro. You you gonna see all type of cars at Amazon? Scat Pass, Hellcats, bro. It's making good money. You feel me? <laughs> I don't know what made you make this video and to talk down on women, bro, but you need help. You need help. If you secretly gay, just say that. Just say that. You ain't got to talk down on women. If you secretly like booty holes, just say that. Just say that, bro. Come on, man. Want to work and doesn't want to improve himself. Since women are born with inherent value, it can't actually be increased in the same way that a man's can. Men's value is based on what they've done and the type of person that they've turned themselves into, what kind of value they've brought into the community in which they're living or into the, the larger society. But a woman's value is not based on that. The reason a woman has inherent value is because her value is based on her fertility. To put it bluntly, that's what it's based on. Women's value is based on their fertility. Aww. That's why it's in the best interest of a woman not to waste her inherent value and try to lock down a high value man or a man who looks like he's on his way to becoming high value as soon as she can. The more experiences a woman goes through, the less value she has as a woman. And it's not just fertility either. It's also based on her ability to stay with a mate. Children are more likely to survive if the father's in the home. Children grow up much healthier and much happier 
and are much more successful later in life when the father is present and not just present but consciously involved in the children's lives so 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 what so why is there so many mama boys why is there so many daughters that love their mother so much and, and let me tell you like this people always try to blame women for the father not being in their life but you gotta you gotta remember that uh, this is freedom. We are in a world where we're free to do whatever we want to. You feel me? We are free to do whatever we want to. So if a father want to walk out, a mother not going to beg their father, beg that father to stay in their life. Because, um, uh, sir, I grew up in a single mother household, and if my father really didn't want to be on my life, he died when I was three. Now I don't know the backstory. I don't know if he was in my life then, but all I know is that if he wasn't in my life, it's like that was his choice. And if a mother in the and if a mother you know, breaks up with the baby father or whatever. You feel me? It's a lot of co-parenting out here. It's a lot of fathers that's still in the child's life, but they're still a mama's boy or whatever you want to call it. Still, a daughter still love their mother regardless. I mean, like, it's just a lot of that. You feel me? So don't, stop blaming no single mother household. Stop blaming no father. Because, bro, I'm happy. I'm very, I believe that I'm very successful at 19. Success to me looks like I got a house over my head. I got my own car. In, uh, it's not in my name yet, okay? But I got my own car, pay my own bills on the car. You feel me? Don't got no car, no. It's paid off. And, <laughs> like, I feel like that's success to me. I ain't got to live in no big mansion. I ain't got to have all the chains in the world. I mean, I got a nice camera, got a nice setup. Like, bro, I feel like that's success to me. God has blessed me with, with all that I have. You feel me? So don't think that a father has to be in a child's life to either be happy, more happy, successful, because, bro, I, I haven't had a father in my life. Uh, my stepdad came to my life at eight years old. Okay, eight years old. So all that time I didn't have no father for eight years. Well, not really eight years, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. All that time I didn't have no father until my stepdad came in, and I don't look at him like a stepdad. It's just a father that stepped up, taught me how to be a man. Cause let me, I'm gonna be honest, a woman can't teach a man how to be a man. Just like a man can't teach a woman how to be a woman. That's just natural. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how to put on a pad and a tampon. I don't know how to do that. I, I can't teach my daughter how to do that. That's what her mother is for. My mother is for. I maybe could look up on YouTube, but I'm pretty sure they take videos down like that. But I'm just saying, bro. Come on. Oh, man. This this guy. Oh, he got me heated, bro. I'm sweating, bro. This man got me heated. That's why stepfathers don't really do the trick. You can't just inject a male person into a child's life and say, this is your new father now. That's not how psychology works. That's not how human brains work. The child knows it's not their actual father. No duh, Sherlock. A stepfather don't look nothing like the child. No duh. I'm pretty sure a child know that off the rip. Duh. Come on now, I'm pretty sure ain't no... If a mother do say, oh, this is your new father, then they're tripping. They're dumb, okay? And if they believe that a child wanna believe that, then they're dumb. Simple as that. But I'm pretty sure half of the women in here out, out here don't say, oh, this is your new father. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't just say, oh, this is your new father, right? Oh, I just found this man off uh Tinder. This is your new father. Like, I'm pretty sure they don't say that. You feel me? I'm pretty sure the kid, the child know, even at a young age, like, this is not my father. This man look like this man look like a, a freaking monkey and I look and I look like a freaking gorilla. Like, I mean, I'm just saying that I'm just saying random stuff, cause this man got me heated. I can't I can't even oh man, I lost my train of thought. This man got me like Bro, your mother should be really disgusted at you right now. And before any idiots go, well, I formed a bond with my stepfather. I'm aware that exceptions exist. I would still argue that you're not as close to your stepfather as you would have been to your biological father had you had the chance. But like I said, the more experiences, whether positive or negative, that a woman goes through decreases her value because women cannot handle the stresses or the pleasures of life. The more stress she goes through, the more she sees the world as nothing more than a negative place. And I've mentioned this in a previous video, but it's because women are not able to connect with God in the same way that men are. Oh. Women are I'm done. I, I, I can't, I can't. This, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, bro. Are... Bro, bro. Yes, I got on penguin pajamas, but that's besides the point. Bro, are you freaking dumb, stupid? Which one are you? I, it's so much going on in this video. I can't even break down every little piece of it. I'm gonna have to do a, like a podcast on this if I want to make this video longer. I don't even. What, 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 how many minutes we have? Like what? what Twenty? Thir Thirteen minutes, bro. And we only three minutes into the video, dude. You have says almost a thousand thousand dumb things in three minutes. Boy, you just beat the world record, bro. This is ridiculous. You just said women are. It's hard for women to get closer to. Oh my gosh, 
bro. Oh my gosh, this this man needs he needs help. He needs help. They are not able to renew themselves mentally. They see everything on Earth through the lens of the material. They see everything on Earth through the lens of sensory perception. If something doesn't excite them enough, then it's not a good thing. If something stresses them out too much, then it's also not a good thing. Everything has to be new, everything has to be fresh, everything has to be exciting all the time, 100% of the time, otherwise it's bad. That's how women see the world. They don't have an accurate lens of reality through which they see the world. They just don't see reality. They interpret the quality of reality through the type of sensory input they're receiving. That's why girls don't work out. You ever wonder why the vast majority of women don't work out? They just, they are fortunate enough to be born with a nice looking body and then it just wastes away. They don't work out. They could preserve their body a little bit by working out, but that's why, it's because it hurts. Working out hurts. And since women only interpret the world through sensory perception, anything that hurts is a bad thing. They can't handle it. They literally can't handle working out. That's how strongly this influences their mind. And just as when I was saying earlier, when a woman goes through too many negative experiences, she's not able to renew herself because women are not as connected to God. They're not able to refresh themselves psychologically. They're not able to detach themselves from the material world. And don't let their astrology fool you either. All this crystals, all the chakra, the healing bullshit, there's no such thing as chakras. There's no such thing as crystals, you know, lighting incense. Hey, I'm gonna give credit when credit is due. You are absolutely right, my brother. That, that That's the only thing that you probably said that was actually, like, actually something that I actually agree with. The only thing. Only thing that you probably said that I actually agree with. Thank you. Thank you for saying something that's actually factual. All of that is still sensory. There's no divine presence there. It's still, just because it makes them feel good doesn't mean that there's a divine presence there. They might feel a tiny bit of divine presence because it's a He actually might be getting somewhere. Hold on, I'm actually excited. I'm actually excited. You actually might get somewhere. Typically when they interact with these things, they're becoming more still in body, and that's how you gain greater contact with God. That's how you that's how you connect yourself better with the divine presence. But since they're not able to go all the way, they're satisfied with sensory perception. They think that the crystals are the divine presence. They think that the incense or the astrological signs are the divine presence. When really it's just more sensory perception. It's just more material surface level interpretation. But in the same sense that negative experiences traumatize them in a way that cannot be recovered from, so do pleasure experiences. If a woman has the best sex of her life with a guy, she will never be able to enjoy another man again. It has to stay at that high level. You ever wonder why divorce courts favor women? It's because the objective is to maintain the woman's lifestyle. No attention is given to the man's lifestyle. Nobody gives a single fuck about men, okay? Just for you guys thinking you're gonna change the divorce courts, men need to be given more rights. Men need to be prioritized in court. None of that shit's ever gonna happen. That's never, ever, ever, I can't even emphasize how little, I can't even emphasize how that's never going to happen. It's just not. But back to what I was saying. The woman's lifestyle is to be maintained. That's the priority. Now, the positive implications of this prioritization would be that if the woman has a small child and the dad's a deadbeat, then yeah, we would want to make sure that they're financially set up. But in the vast majority of divorce cases and just cases dealing with men and women in general, none of those details are taken into consideration. It is only taken into consideration that she is a woman and due to our feminist culture, she's inherently a victim and he is a man, which means he's inherently a perpetrator and he's inherently a bad guy. And so the rewards, the fruits of the man's labor are given to the woman regardless of the context of the situation. But jumping back to what I was saying, even pleasurable experiences are- Oh shoot, he said jumping back to what he was saying. So that means that he finna say so a whole bunch of another BS. I, honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I was sitting here listening. I actually agree with some of the stuff that he was actually saying. I, I really do, just that part. Was this like five minutes in? Yeah, I think that was about five minutes right there. 
okay, but now I know you finna say a whole bunch of BS again because you said jumping back to what you were saying. You was on the right track, now you're fading off to something else. Oh, here you go. ...are too much for the woman to handle because they cannot refresh themselves. They can't see men in a new light. They can't appreciate different aspects of the man. All they see is whoever gives them the most dick, whoever gives them the most exciting experience. See, some... What the... What the... Is that it? Whoever takes her on the most expensive date, on the more expensive date, he's the one who's gonna take the cake. See, that's something that I don't like. When you, when you, when you try to, don't bash a whole culture of women, okay? Say some women. Some women, yes. But all women, no. Cause I know my mother's not like that. I know my, my girl is not like that. I know that previous uh, homegirls that I had was not like that. But I know that some women are like that. So when you say women, don't try to bash the whole culture of women. Just say some women is this, some women is that. But don't say all women are this and all women are that because that's not true at all. It's a lot of women out here, like I said, that can handle their own. They don't need a man to this. They don't need a man for that. You know what I'm saying? I, they, they just don't. I'm not I'm not trying to I'm not trying to uh promote this, but really half of the women don't even really need dick. I I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest. Half of the women don't. They done made toys for that. They done now there's so many lesbians out here. They they just some women don't even need it. Some women just really don't even fiend for it. And I'm not promoting that, but that's just how that's just the world that we're living in. But when you say women, say some. Don't say all. Because then you go have a whole culture of women just disgusted at you, mad at you, because you saying that this woman, that woman, this woman, that woman, instead of saying some women are this, some women are that, because that's true. Some women are this and some women are that. I'm not gonna bat. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna say they are not. They are, but not all. She will forever look at every other date after that with a sense of pity. You ever notice how girls who've been ran through or just more attractive girls tend to look at men with a sense of resentment or a sense of pity? Or they look at nice guys definitely with a sense of pity as well. It's almost like, oh, it's so cute. Look at him. Look at him trying so hard. He thinks this is actually impressing me. Look at him trying so hard to impress me. Why is he trying? It's almost like they're confused. They're like, why is he trying so hard to impress me? What do I, what have I done? to deserve such effort. None of the other guys have ever put in this much effort before. They're confused as to why you would try so hard for them. Even they are not confused about the amount of value they provide. Even they understand that they are ruined. Even they understand that their value has gone out the window. It went out the window with the first hundred guys they slept with. And I do mean hundred. You guys don't realize how utterly abundant women's sex options are most women's sex options from even for average girls are through the roof and it's because of the dynamic bro why is it such a problem with body count for women but it's not a problem with body count for men i mean you know what i mean men slept with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of women and they brag about that a lot of women done slept with hundreds of guys but at the same time we can't bash women for the amount of guys they slept with when I'm pretty sure women, the same way we don't want to use woman, you know what I'm saying? The same way we don't want to a, a use coochie that been hit by the whole entire industry. They don't want to do that just slept with, every, well, real women. I'm going to say real women. Some real, it's a lot of real women out here. And a lot of real women don't want a guy that slept with that, that girl, that girl, that girl, that girl. And a lot of real men like me, for instance, I don't want a woman who slept with this 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 guy, that guy, this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. Slept with my grandpa back in 1945. I, I don't want I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that type of stuff, okay? But honestly, bro, we're we're adults. Body count shouldn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? Whatever her past was, that's our past. Whatever our past was, that's our past. But come on, bro. We can't bash women for the amount of bodies they the body the amount of bodies they have and then not talk about the amount of bodies that men have. That's ridiculous. Men are the ones who are supposed to approach the women. Therefore, women are naturally going to have more options. It just makes it seem like that. That's why women's egos are through the roof. That's why the moment they don't get this attention, they go fucking nuts. Because it's been that way their entire lives. That's why women can't acknowledge that they do have it easier in life. That's why women can't acknowledge the privileges they have in life. Because it's been a part of their life their entire lives. But don't be fooled. Even they understand that their value is gone. That's why they don't like guys treating them with appreciation. That's why they don't like guys treasuring them. Because they know 
they're not treasures. They know they're not worthy of that treatment, but they're in such denial. Women are masters of self-denial. Or rather, not self-denial, but they're masters of going into denial. They don't deny themselves anything. They'll take anything they can get. Women say men will fuck anything and then be the anything that gets fucked. It's so funny because for all the resentment towards men that- I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he ain't lying about that one. Okay. That's actually true. That's actually funny. That's, that's true. But that's some women. Okay, not all. That ran through women have. They sure do seem to have sex with them all the time. They'll still take anything they can get. They don't, it's not like they turn down men's advances. It's not like, it's not like they just turn away sex altogether. They don't become abstinent. They'll still take anything they can get while at the same time pretending that they're not that type of person. They're just as degenerative as the degenerative men. Don't okay, but I'll say this though. Uh, some women don't have, some women don't know their worth. Because they've been treated wrong pretty much ever since they started dating. So some women don't know their worth. And some men don't know their worth. Like I tell men and women, I feel like, like I say all the time, God say no sense to marriage because our body don't belong to everybody. And that's why I tell women, that's why I tell men, our, our PP do not belong to belong inside every woman. You know what I'm saying? Every woman. And every woman cuckoo do not belong to every man. Simple as that. I tell I tell men and women that all the time. That's why God say no such to marriage because it don't belong to everybody. Some of us just don't know our worth. We don't know our worth because we never sat down and actually thought about, okay, I don't deserve this. You know what I'm saying? They just hop into this, hop into that, hop into this. We have to sit down and know our worth before we hop into another relationship and give our body to another person. You got to know your worth. And a lot of women don't know their worth. Some women don't know their worth simply because the way they've been treated by men. Some men don't know their worth simply because they they listen to people like you. They they think, oh, all women, this, all women, that, because they only came across about two, three bad women. That was terrible. But they haven't came across that good woman that actually cared and wanted to, and wanted to see them succeed and actually go for their dreams and all that. Like, come on, bro. It's a lot of good women out here. We're just looking in the wrong places. Don't let the fact that men are the ones approaching women confuse you. Women are just able to hide it because of the natural dynamic. Nobody can see this underlying dynamic. It's like so obvious. It's in, it's in our, it's observable in our everyday life. And yet nobody can see this. Nobody can take their awareness just an inch deeper and see, yeah, you know what? Men are the ones approaching women. Women are the ones getting approached. So naturally it would make sense that women have more abundant options and they're able to hide things easily and they're able to make it seem like they don't want it as bad and they're able to make it seem like they're just victims and really the men are the perpetrators. Things are much more nuanced and complex than the vast majority of people will ever realize, much less admit to. But I don't want to ramble on for too long. I think I've spoken on this long enough. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. No, I'm going to smash the dislike button because I did not enjoy it. You only said about a couple good things and the rest of it was BS. But uh, look, man, the video already long on my end. It's already like 20-something, six minutes, 26-something minutes long. So I'm going to go ahead and get off this video. But y'all know, like, look, just know your worth, okay? What he said, it was like part of it was true. But there's like the rest of the video, about 90% of the video, nah, not even 90, 95% of the video was BS. 5% of the video, it was actually pretty much true. But anyways, man, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, be your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all, bro. Go ahead, subscribe to my second channel, which is the podcast channel, but I tell y'all, I was speaking facts, dog. Y'all need to go check it out. Let me know any thoughts that y'all have on it. Uh, anyways, man, be your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.